He may not be flying a plane, but Zach Vauter considers himself a test pilot. What is he maneuvering? An eight million dollar bionic leg. And where is he going? On a 103 flight climb up the stairs of Chicago's Willis Tower, one of the world's tallest skyscrapers. And so I've been training for a couple of months now, um, on and off, trying to get out to the gym a couple of times a week. I've been training on a, it's like a small escalator. Uh, it's a stair treadmill. The 31-year-old amputee is a research subject, helping to test a trailblazing prosthetic leg, controlled by his thoughts and maneuvered through the use of electrodes and engineering. It puts energy in when I'm walking. Um, it puts energy into that, uh, whereas my normal prosthetic is uh, dumb, per se, and doesn't, uh, doesn't respond or react to me. The bionic leg is the result of a partnership between the Department of Defense and several universities. Experts say most prosthetics are glorified wooden legs, but this, this is a step beyond state of the art. Now when he just thinks about moving his ankle, his hamstring moves and we're able to tell the prosthesis how to move appropriately. On Sunday, Walter will participate in the Skyrise Chicago Climb, a fundraiser for the Rehabilitation Institute. Researchers will be cheering him on while they monitor the prosthetic's performance. Safety is a top priority. If a bionic hand fails, someone drops a glass of water. If a bionic leg fails, someone falls downstairs. This will be the first test in the public eye, and if it goes well, Bionic prostheses could hit the market within a decade. Nia Hawkins, Associated Press.